back to follow-up segment time. A new poll from CBS News says that race relations between blacks and whites at the lowest level since 1997. The question, do you think race relations in the USA are generally good or generally bad? 45% say generally good. 43% generally bad. Among whites, 47% good. 42% bad. Among blacks, 34% good. 54% bad. Obviously, the Ferguson and Staten Island grand jury is driving some of that opinion. Do you know that over 150,000 cases came before the grand jury and at only 11 cases they didn't come back with indictments? That it's like lightning striking the black community over and over and over again. Here now is Mr. Simmons, who made that statement Monday night, who's a co-founder of the hip-hop music label Def Jam. You know, it's the stat that you cited is federal grand juries, right? That's right. Okay, so it doesn't have anything to do. You qualified that. You should have, because it doesn't have anything to do with local street crime. It doesn't have anything to do with local policing or state policing. I believe the strife between poor blacks and the police is driven by black crime. That's the nexus point. Do you believe that? I believe the strife between poor blacks and the police is driven by black crime. That's the nexus point. Do you believe that? No. I believe that we can create um, a, a good relationship between police and community with sensitivity training both for the community and for the police. Okay, I believe that. Let's talk with, with the wider issue than the New York City issue. Look, I said on this air that I was disturbed by what happened in, in the Staten Island case. So did Charles Krauthammer, so did Judge Napolitano. All Americans should be disturbed. Yeah. But the bigger issue that you are not acknowledging is that the astronomical crime rate among young black men, violent crime, drive suspicion and hostility on the part of the police who have to be confronted with it. You won't acknowledge it, Russell. You won't acknowledge it. Let me say this to you. The broken glass laws and the way that the police approach community is a problem. The police are afraid of the community. It's true. And I think that requires some sensitivity training. And that, that is where we have to start. But if we want to start with the core, if there is crime or prison culture that ensues in the black community, or if the fabric of the black community is in some way disrupted, it has everything to do with your war on drugs. And the 95% of the people who go to jail for nonviolent first-time offenses are people of color. Is selling heroin and crack on the street a violent crime. What I'm saying is that whites and That's blacks an easy question. use Can and you sell drugs answer at that the same question. rate. But Russell, 95% of the people who go who are incarcerated. Am I invisible? Crime are you not are hearing me? White, are, are you not hearing me? Versus white. I don't think selling drugs okay, is a violent think crime. So. No. So you and I and have I a fundamental. Like drugs, you you and I have a fundamental disagreement. Like I, because I think selling hard drugs is a violent I crime. I think oxycodone is a hard drug. Let's go. I think Vicodin is a hard drug. Hold it. I this think has equal. devastated poor black neighborhoods. In Chicago, there is an epidemic of violence driven by drug gangs. I haven't seen you there. I think well, I haven't I'm, seen I'm in Chicago you there. all the time. You weren't down the South Side I'm protesting in Chicago the drug. promoting. I've worked You're with the, the mayor and everyone on putting meditation in schools in Chicago. Education and schools have long, is a different and have violence thing. programs in 30 cities, including Chicago, that I fund. Russell. You have not been there condemning the black drug gangs for gunning down 13 and 14 year old kids. You haven't done it. You know what's interesting, Bill? When you talk about the violence in the black community, or right. 50 or 60, sometimes 70 kids who were shot in one week in Chicago. By other it, blacks. It, it comes like this. Right. And when you talk about the missing white girl from Brooklyn, it goes on for a month. Every single week, Much. it is true, there is violence in those communities. And what we are doing about it is, is negligible. But what we could do, and, and the reason for that, 
violence in those communities comes from this whole Jim Crow system that is the prison industrial complex. We have not addressed the core, the root. If you of don't the problem, think that selling the drugs of the problem, you're never going to solve it. The root of the black crime problem is drugs, dis- do not, drugs are not violent. Yeah. And other Let me, I'm going to give you the last word. Here's how where you're so desperately wrong. You are a good man, but you are so desperately wrong. It pains me to talk to you. <laughs> me too. I the, feel the same way about you, Bill. Okay. But I like the, you. The crime rate is driven by the dissolution of the family. No supervision, okay? Kids with no fathers. The black neighborhoods are devastated by drug gangs who prey upon their own. That's the problem, not the industrial prison complex.